Greetings everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 where we play as Italy. We are still maintaining the front against the Soviet Union where Germany still has 139 divisions in Sweden. Now they are beginning to push which is good to see but still they have 50 divisions doing nothing at all. And they have a small invasion force they have managed to knock back. And the same here, which is great to see. They actually captured over 50 division, which is great. But they are not withstanding the whole mine. As you can see, they are trying to break through. But fortunately, in the wrong direction. Not against a port. So that's good. Down here, we are still pushing. But let's see what happened here. Very good. But let's get going. We are not making that much progress the way down south, unfortunately. But we are still doing quite well, even though we have very, very high uh, resistance to occupation, and which is not good. But we effort very good, and I believe we, yeah, we are close to finished, which is good. And I think the only reason we are way over here is because we have some allies who are pushing. And to be honest, I'm not that keen on pushing much more than that. But we are withstanding the counter-attack from the Soviets so far. And we are making a few attacks ourselves, which are going well we have plenty of manpower fortunately which is due to the fact that we um, took the new what is it here all adults serve which is hurting our uh, factories but we'll have to manage doing that on the time being like we are withstanding but we still have a very hard time pushing on. And I really don't know. Like we are making some panthers, some loads of infantry. We need at least. Oh, that was maybe a bit too many, but we need that. We are way, way, way short of infantry equipment, which is not good to see. Planes we are behind. Is there anything? We still need that also here. We need more motorized. Yeah, it's not looking good so far regarding um, our equipment. Though we manage. Am I standing up here? I am. Why? Didn't I pull back? So we are trapped here now. If that's the case, let's try to get to Celestial. I'm going to fall back to here. So we may lose what seven divisions where the Germans have damn 70? That's not good. So the Germans is also trying to push on. Which at least is good to see. And we are still making up bit of progress down here which is very good to see because it has been quite an issue for us Go. so yeah I'm a bit afraid of losing that whole army yeah we're losing on this front 
again I think this campaign is a losing cause even though we are pushing down here it does not help us in Europe even though we are withstanding all the attacks they throw at us at the moment and I believe yes we are building quite a lot of land forts which of course is good in some regards we have a defensive line but it will not defend us from the north as soon as Germany breaks and they're about to lose well they're still holding Warsaw uh, the but they aren't pushing in the north they aren't pushing the Soviets back and they just managed to kill all down here which is good but again it's not the Soviets we need to get rid of them somehow and I should have and we are trying to attack and it's going badly apparently it is both oh. good Now I do believe there is a few bugs in this one due to it was before and had the small minor patch. So yeah it seems like the bug keeps asking me. I know I have a ton of error experience but I really do not know what to build it on because we have Mark II fighters so they can't pretty much be improved that much. Let's see. Yeah. We'll lose reliability and I, I don't want to lose any more than that. So good to see they lost four submarines. But again we are holding the line for now. Yeah, we lost a ton of troops here already. So yeah, we are doing quite poorly. And we are trying to push on but again I do not believe it will be a success in the long run because I could withdraw over here and support this line but it will just give them Turkey, Middle East and the whole Italian region and then we'll need to defend for naval invasions and yeah it's just not a good situation we are in right now. As for the time being, we are holding our line. And we need our allies to do the same. Which they are not at all. The I biggest issue is we have 80, 80 division up north and 70 combined from the Soviets and uh, Swedish. Yeah. They will not manage to break through and they have still not managed to kill this invasion force. And honestly, we'll, we will not be able to fight back another in naval, uh, naval invasion because they can't even hold the line here like, I'm having issues okay no trouble that most important thing one, thing one is not new recruits it's reinforcements and after that there we go Upgrades not that important for our current line. Didn't they manage to push us a big bit back? Yes, they did. Pull back. Yeah, I think this playthrough, to be honest, is kind of finished. Because I can see how we shall manage to drive them back. Now, I will say I made a few mistakes in the old game because... I was learning it as I was playing and I had way too much focus on um, civil industry 157 like it's more than we have in military
which in a way is good because it means we can build more but when you are in war you need your military factories and we simply do not have enough like look 48,000 is needed so yeah I'm going to end this playthrough because it's as you can see they keep pushing on here and they are not making progress or are they? well yeah, I think I'll end this playthrough and then I will begin a new one instead and I will most likely begin as the Soviet Union and it's not because I want a big country to be strong because they actually have quite bad industry to begin with but the reason I want to be the Soviet Union is to be able to make a bigger goal and we will also be playing it um, on a bit higher difficulty because this is still recruit but because I messed up in the beginning and yeah, we are pushing a bit back but yeah I just think that I have learned enough to be able to play way better than I have because 135 military versus 157 um, that's just not like it's not ideal to be honest even though 61 of them is from occupation so and how many of you are from occupation can I see that no I cannot but yeah I definitely feel like I can do better now and since I began this campaign I have played as uh, France and beaten Germany I have played a bit as the United States a bit as the Germans as well where I managed to take Poland and France pr quite easily and also managed to invade the United Kingdom and yeah I did very very well in that playthrough and it's because I have learned as we have progressed like as you saw in the previous videos it was a horrible composition of our troops not enough uh, combat width to go up to the scale it always have and all that which we have tried to change and I can't even remember if we managed yes we did but even here I still I still believe we are missing quite a lot of things and that is like how is our medium tanks it's pretty well but it still needs a bit more but yeah I'm going to make a new series and I'm either going to pick the Soviet Union United States or I may actually choose one of the South American factions and then we could try or maybe even Mexico but then try make our own faction and unite South America and as our goal will be to take the United States that may as well be one of my goals or one of the ideas I have though I haven't decided yet but you will see in the next video I hope you have enjoyed this series with Italy it has been a learning experience for me and hopefully for you as well if you want you can go on reddit there is a ton of new information of how to build a um, composition and all that I have also learned quite a lot through this game so by playing it of course and I will utilize that in the next playthrough but I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please press that like button and I hope to see you in my next playthrough which will be one of the three or oh, Soviet Union America or middle Central America or South America I haven't decided but you will see in the next video so hope to see you there and until then have a great time bye